Hello, hello everyone. I have arrived at the Central Park in Tenjin, which is a part of Fukuoka. So um, I wanted to take you guys for a little stroll in the park today and uh, show you some of the just the daily life activities, I guess you could say, that are around Fukuoka. Live your life within the moment, moment And don't go wait until the morning, morning You never know when it is over, over All that I know is we'll get older, older So let us dance this side away The other day, I was doing a class with one of my students, Emmy, and Emmy lives in Australia at the moment. She's originally from Japan. She's been uh, working at a coffee shop as a barista, and she's had some challenges for sure with some of her English. And we were talking about words of caution words that we use maybe that she would use around customers at the coffee shop or maybe uh, some of her co-workers and I realized in doing that when I was having the conversation with her that yeah it can be a little bit confusing and there are some subtle differences between different words of caution that we use so in today's video I want to go over some of those with you and hopefully this will help you understand a little bit better some of these words and how we use them. So first I want to talk about um, three, three phrasal verbs. Um, they're all used by usually people of authority. And uh, I'm just filming these little, these little ribbons here. Um, you can see the whole park is covered by this. And so what does this mean? Obviously, uh, you can't go past this. They don't want anybody to walk on the lawn that they're trying to take care of here. So basically, um, this can mean get back, stand back, and stay back, okay? Those three phrasal verbs are usually used by people of authority. So maybe police officer, you know, maybe there's an accident and they might say, get back, get back. So get back is a very strong phrasal verb. Um, it has authority. It's not so polite. Okay. It's a word that you would use, a phrasal verb you would use when it's very important with a lot of authority. You want somebody to do that action. You want them to get back. You want them to move away from the area. All right, uh, stay back, also used by authority, but a little bit kinder, uh, not, not, so, not so heavy, you could say, not so harsh of a word. Um, stay back, you know, you can add a please, please stay back, and that would definitely make it sound uh, not, so, not so bad, and it's, it's not as harsh to, to say that to somebody. Hey, just stay back, stay back, please, stay back. All right. Um, stand back would be very similar to stay back. So stand back also means to not get too close, right? So somebody might come to you and say, oh, sir, you should stand back. You know, being a little bit too close to the edge of something uh, could be dangerous, all right? But all three of those are usually used by people of authority trying to tell you give you instructions of something so they're not very polite so um for example in emmy's situation in the coffee shop she probably doesn't want to use any of those words because they can be considered kind of harsh uh to the customer right so you definitely don't want to use get back you don't want to say to a customer get back get back because that's too aggressive it's it's not po very polite um 
you know, stand back and stay back is okay, but not to a customer, okay? So we definitely don't want to use those ones in, with, with around customers or people that we want to be careful with what we say. Next, let's use a cautionary word that is polite, something that is very easy and useful to learn how to use to warn someone, okay? And that word is be careful. It's very polite, okay? It's a good way to warn somebody and not to startle someone. So usually when you use the word be careful around someone, they usually will freeze, meaning they won't move. They will pause where they are. So if you don't want someone to basically, um, you know, move quickly or move suddenly or move in the wrong direction, then this word is really good to use for that. So, so in Emmy's case, imagine she's working at the restaurant or at the coffee shop and she has a tray full of coffees and there's somebody that doesn't quite see her and she's worried that they're gonna back up into her. Okay, she doesn't want to use an aggressive startling word that might make somebody move too quickly in the wrong direction. So she wants to use the word, be careful. So she's just trying to sneak by someone and she realizes that they're gonna take a step backwards. She can say, be careful, please be careful. All right, and that's going to make that person freeze where they are, okay? Now I know when you're in, if you're in a country that speaks English and you're not a native speaker, sometimes it's difficult to come up with these words very quickly, right? But that one should be one of the easier ones that you can remember to use when you want somebody to be careful. You know, you want somebody to pause and not move too quickly. They need to be cautious in that moment. Um, and be careful is very universal. You can use it in so many different things in so many different ways, right? <clears throat> Imagine a small child in a home and it's going to touch something it shouldn't. You know, a mom's always gonna yell out, be careful. So as a child, we learn to just pause and stop what we're doing and not move too quickly in any direction, okay? Okay, so what if we do want someone to respond quickly? A word of caution, we want somebody to react, move fast, right? We can use watch out, okay? Another phrasal verb, watch out, watch out, watch out. But when you say this word, you're going to cause the person to probably move in a direction or act in a very fast way in some in some manner so sometimes when somebody yells watch out a person may duck down another phrase of verb duck down which means they're gonna cover their head and they're gonna lower their body to the ground because they're worried that something is coming at them so when if somebody ever yells watch out to me that's what I do because that means that something is headed in my direction. So I need to change my body so that I don't get hit by it. Um, with a watch out, you may also look around you very quickly because you realize that something's coming at you probably from behind you. So if you're looking in a certain direction and somebody yells watch out, it's probably not coming at you because you would have seen it. <laughs> 
So you look in the opposite direction. Oh, it's something fast. You need to react quickly, right? You know, imagine there's a dog running at you from behind and somebody yells at you, hey, watch out. You know, you know to turn around and that there's a dog that's gonna be coming towards you. All right, so this is another cautionary word that we use, that we yell to people. But you don't want to use this in a situation where you're trying to go behind somebody with a tray of glasses and somebody's gonna step back into you possibly, you don't wanna say watch out. Why? Because they can react suddenly and actually move into you faster. So if they don't really know where you are, they may actually walk back into you. I've done this myself. Um, I've used it myself in the wrong way with someone and they've actually walked into me instead of, <laughs> instead of moving out of the way. So you have to be careful with these, okay? Another one that goes along with watch out is look out. So also a phrasal verb, look out. And it's very similar to watch out. So you have watch and look, both very similar, right? And so if you're gonna use watch out, you can also use look out. And the person will react in the same way, okay? They'll worry quickly that something's happening and they need to look out look out look out and you definitely do not want to use this it's not a word that you would use when you want to be polite it's it's a word you use as caution as a quick reaction okay so I think that those are good words to to know and how to use them properly um, if you do use one in the wrong situation it's okay just learn from it that uh, you know you need to change it so if you need to be polite, just say, be careful. You know, hey, be careful, I'm just moving behind you. Sometimes you don't have time to say all that. And so just saying be careful is enough to make somebody freeze in a polite way. Uh, if you want to do something of authority, you can use get back, stay back, stand back, right? Hey, get back from there. You might say to a kid that's doing something dangerous, you're the authority, you're the older person. So you can say that, okay? And then you have look out and watch out. So when you want to warn somebody that they're in danger and you want them to move quickly, you can use those too. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed uh, today's video. I, hopefully it was very informative. I think it's very useful. And thank you, Emmy, for that uh, class because you made me realize that I should be going over a couple of these words with you guys. All right, so have yourself a great day or a great evening or whatever it is for you and I will see you guys in the next video.